All right, we're going over I Am Rio 2022 Legend stage. I was out of town. I was not able to make Challenger stage. Or I was not able to make a Challenger stage video. This is who I went with. We got six of them right. Uh, let's just ignore the silver here. However, let's not ignore the Antwerp diamond coin and the Stockholm 2021 diamond coin. You can see those are the only ones I've ever attempted. So uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Already got this one here. So let's go ahead and go to the Legend stage for me. I don't even bother trying to figure out who's going to go 3-0 and 0-3. And I just want to focus on the people who are going to be the winners, okay? Now we can get an idea of how likely it is that somebody is going to be able to advance just based on the first round. Um, scheduling. So we got Mouse Sports versus Liquid, Spirit versus Bad News Eagles, Phase versus Cloud9, Spirit or Sprout versus Big, Vitality versus Navi, Outsiders versus Heroic, Fury versus Ants, Ninjas in Pajama versus Fnatic. I think this is going to be one of the tougher legend stages that we have ever seen, to be honest with you. I am going to, however, lean towards Sprout and be in the 0 3. Now, I hate Big. I think Big plays absolutely terrible. Um, Counter-Strike, but I do think Sprout has a good chance of going 0-3, just based on how absolutely tough this lineup is, okay? Now, I am very, very concerned about Vitality not making it into the champion stage, because I am extremely, extremely worried that Vitality is just not going to be able to be there. We've seen Apex have fantastic matches in the Challenger stage, we've seen them have absolutely horrendous matches. I honestly believe that Vitality depends on what Apex can do each and every day. Clearly Sai was going to carry the team, but right now I cannot confidently put Vitality in there. I will, however, go ahead and obviously put Navi in there. I will ob obviously go ahead and put FaZe in there. I do believe that Ents is going to show up and be a contender. Now, the Ents and Fury go against each other in the first one. I think that's going to be a really tough match, but as I said, I think all these matches are going to be extremely tough. I believe Team Liquid goes ahead of Ants. I know Cloud9 ran into issues, came, you know, had to beat, not OG, had to beat Gamers Legion to advance this point, but I really do believe that Cloud9 goes through. This is going to be me just hoping that Vitality goes through. I know I'm concerned about it, but look, I'm a Vitality fan. If I don't put this here, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to absolutely be depressed. I think Mouse Sports is the other team that's going to go this way. Now, Mouse and Liquid go against each other. I, I, believe, that all the, I believe that these teams end up both advancing, but one of these is going to be already uh, behind the eight ball just based on where they are lined up there. And for the 3-0, I would go ahead and put in uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. When I look at this, do I see anybody that I'm concerned about not making it? Vitality, Cloud9. So if you don't like these two here, we could very easily take Cloud9 and Vitality out and put outsiders, outsiders in and fill it in if you think Fnatic, if you think Vitality, if you think Cloud9. It, it's really these two that are up for grabs. I'm still yet again going to put Vitality because I do believe that they make it. It'll give me something to root for. However, Navi, FaZe, Ents, Liquid, and Mouse, I think that's good enough to root for those guys. Ninjas in Pajamas, good upside for a 3-0. Not sure how likely it is, but you don't necessarily want to put in a, a team down here that would go 3-0 in case you miss this. You're basically forfeiting a point there, so these are the three that I would go with for the Legend stage. Hopefully it helps you out, guys, and I will see you people in the champion stage chasing that diamond coin we'll see you then